Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to check the version of Java that you're using in Linux. So if you're on a Linux system and you want to know what version of Java is installed or that you're using, um, we're going to show you how to do that. So just run, the, this is really quick and easy, just run Java version like that. And it shows in my case, I'm running Java version 15.0.2. Um, and this is the date for that version. Um, it gives you the uh, runtime environment um, and the build, I guess, and Java Hotspot 64-bit um, VM. All right, so that's all fine and great. Um, worth pointing out that the uh, the three digits in the number, um, the first one is the major version, and then you have the minor version that has bug fixes and um, has what, what does it have? It has like improvements and bug fixes. Now that third part of the version number would be security fixes. So um, that's mostly all you would want to know about the version number. Um, there might be a few other things you might want to look at. Now, um, see, I'm actually curious if Java C. All right, so you can actually check the version of the Java compiler, which should match your version of Java if your your environment is set up normally. Um, yeah, this, this would be the JVM and this would be the Java compiler. You know, you, if you only have the JVM, you're not going to have the Java compiler. I, anyways, it's a, uh, but, but if you have the Java compiler, you probably have both. If you have like the JDK installed. Now I'm on a Linux, I'm on a, an Ubuntu Linux system. I want to show you something extra. I'm also going to show you, uh, I'm going to show you how to check which package is installed. I'm also going to show you how to check what version of Java you have from Java. So um, let's try the package first, dpackage dash L to list out our packages. Now pipe that in grep dash I, JDK, JRE. So we're gonna search for either JDK or JRE. So we're, we're checking all our packages and we're gonna grep out anything that matches either JDK or JRE. Um, so let's see what we have here. All right, so here we have, um, let's run that again with a maximize screen. All right, it's still taking up more than the whole screen. Anyways, you can kind of see what I have there. All right, so you see we have four packages. We have a JRE and JRE headless. I'm, I'm not sure why it has a headless version. All right, anyways. Um, and we have also two packages for the JDK. Um, the same version, I don't know why it also has this headless version of the package, but it does. You can see it's built for Ubuntu. So we have the JRE for running things in the JDK, which I guess also includes the JRE. In any case, um, so we, we can compile Java programs, but these are the actual packages. Now, if you wanted to install these exact packages, you could just install them. You'd say apt, uh, it's a little bit out of uh, scope for this video, but you could say apt install. Really, you can use sudo, so like sudo apt install, whoops and just paste this right here. And there you go, you could install it that way. I'm not gonna actually run that though. Um, and you would wanna do, don't forget to run a sudo apt update before running the install so you get the latest repo info. Anyways, let's, let's show you how to do this from within Java. All right, so let, let's look inside this and now um, I'm gonna, this is a basic, basic uh, hello world Java program I'm gonna just remove this and I'm, I'm just gonna paste the code that we wanna use, the actual important code in here. And uh, let's see, we're gonna say string v for ver, that's the variable we're gonna, we're gonna store our version in. Okay, sys, system, uh, I can't type right today. System.get property and we're gonna say Java dot version. So we're gonna get this system property Java dot version. Then we're gonna say uh, oops, you know we're gonna use format. We we don't have to use format, we could just say, say print line. Anyways. Um, I'm going to use a modulus s for a string variable. 
And then we are going to put a new line here, comma V, right? So we're gonna print out our, don't forget the semicolon. So we're gonna write this. So we have two lines basically looking up a system property, Java version, saving it to a variable. And we're gonna print it out with this, this uh, format command. So yeah, re real simple. Um, let, let's try this out. Let's compile this. And um, hello world is public, should be declared in. Oh, okay, yeah, that, that's fair enough. All right. All right. There we go, we've compiled it. Now, here is our Java source code and here is our class file, so that's our binary. Um, it's actually, you know, it's, it's bytecode, but it's, it's our binary basically. So let's run it. Java, hello world, and it outputs the version of Java. So that's how you can programmatically look up the version of Java. Now, th this little bit of information would be useful whether you're running on Linux or any other system, including Windows, BSD, or Mac OS. So hopefully, you know, hopefully you found that, that useful. And hopefully that answers your, assuming if you're watching this video, it's because you uh, you were searching for that question or perhaps you, uh, you know, this was just a recommended video or something and you thought this would be an interesting thing to watch. Um, we have way more interesting videos than this. Um, so hopefully you found this useful or at least interesting, if nothing else, you might wanna give me a thumbs up. Um, you might wanna hit that subscribe button also and uh, hit the little bell icon, up. otherwise uh, YouTube's probably not gonna let you know when we come out with a new video. Um, we do have a lot of great stuff coming up and, and we've actually, if you wanna check our list of videos, we've already put out a lot of uh, pretty interesting things, some more interesting than others. Um, we cover a lot of great stuff, um, coding, servers, hardware, software, 3D printing, electronics, uh, single board computers, robots, networking, all sorts of great tech related stuff that you're not gonna wanna miss. So if you, if you want your YouTube feed to uh, you know, be that much more interesting, you're gonna wanna hit that subscribe button. But more important than any of that stuff, you're gonna wanna leave a comment down below, especially if you know something that I don't know. Um, definitely let me know, not just for me, but for the next person who comes along and watches this video and reads the comments. Um, leave a comment that for them also. Any, any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever you wanna say, I probably wanna hear it. So do leave a comment down below. And uh, that's pretty much it for today. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.